Oh, what do I do? Just, uh, you have to rotate your build like your, your joint. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm about to get out of here. I'm scared. Welcome back to another episode of Weekly Visuals. It is episode three. Today, we're going to be playing around with some strobe equipment, a Profoto B1 to be exact. We're gonna try to overpower sunlight. Now, before that, the past few days have been super insanely hot. So please stay hydrated, please don't pass out. Make sure you're in an indoor situation where you have AC or if you're outdoors, be safe and stay hydrated. It's that's very it's very important. Like I don't want any of you guys to, you know, passing out due to heat strokes or anything, because it's in the hundreds and like high nineties, at least in Los Angeles and Pasadena, because like that's where I go the most and it's been pretty brutal, man. Pretty brutal. So first of all, before we go and do that, I need a haircut. That's why I haven't done my hair. Usually we don't I don't like put the hair material in my hair before I go to the haircut because they're gonna have to wash your hair anyways so if you go in fresh and you have you can skip that part so tip you know what I'm saying fun fun fact you better start doing that okay so the camera of choice today Sony a7r2 and Pro Photo B1. Now let me just show you guys how this looks real quick. This is the Pro Photo B1. These are the batteries. And we're gonna try to overpower sunlight with these. After the haircut, of course. Uh there it is. I also forgot to mention that. I will be shooting Roman today. Um, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know Roman is basically my best friend. I've known him since elementary school. He's like a brother to me. I don't even consider him a friend. He's like literally a brother to me. And we're gonna. I asked him if he could model for me for this shoot because, you know, time to catch up, take some photos. It's a good time. So we're gonna meet up with him after my haircut. I'm gonna get this photo shoot going and we'll see. I don't know if he's free enough to kick it after the photo shoot, but if he is, we'll take you guys along. You know what I'm saying? I'm stuttering. It's a little early in the morning. Please excuse me. All right, so we're here to get my hair cut. It was a cut from my house to right now. Obviously, I'm not gonna film myself getting the haircut. So you see this hair right now in three, two, boom looking fresher than usual i ain't that scrabby bull uh the bushy haircut no more and by the way it's hot it's 96 degrees today not as bad as yesterday it's, yesterday was like 110 but like i said you gotta stay hydrated with the perrier per how do you guys say it? you guys say perrier 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 let me know what you guys call this thing in the comment section below per i think it's called perrier yeah, it has to be, right? Perrier? Anyways, uh, I told R Roman that we're going to be there around 12.30 to 1. We're not early, but we're not late either. So, we got to get going. Come on. So, there's traffic. Damn. Okay, let me focus this. <laughs> we're there with Roman right here. What's up, Roman? What's going in? Yeah, what's going What's going in? on, guys? How's it doing? Good to see y'all. So yeah, uh, today I explained earlier that we're gonna overpower sunlight with a lighting setup. So this right here is a Profoto B1 with a small softbox. So keep that in mind. You're gonna need you're gonna need a Pro. Oh, well, you don't need a Profoto, but you need a strobe. And you need a a modifier because you don't want to blast too much light onto your subject and what's gonna help you guys a lot is a light meter so you can meter the Sun and meter that 
so you know exactly how much power the sun has compared to your light source. Also, obviously you need a camera. And music in the background. Music in the background, camera. crucial. You need a camera to actually shoot it, and if you're using a Pro Photo B1 like me, you need a universal sync cord so your camera can actually read that. And yeah, first of all, I'm gonna explain real quick. When you shoot a photo with the sun in the back, what ends up happening is your subject, let me just focus that, okay. So your subject is gonna turn into a silhouette. They turn completely, no detail, just an outline of their body and that's it. Now once you start adding light to that subject, it starts bringing out more detail in the subject, but the sun is probably gonna be more stronger. Usually a regular camera flash won't, be strong enough to overpower the sunlight so you're gonna have an external light source like that. When you do that, you'll be able to have detail in your actual subject to the fullest degree with neutral skin tonality and be able to kind of power down the, the light in the background so it actually works as a photo. And we're gonna test this out right now. Dang, you know your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what, what I'm gonna do is my model right here, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, uh, you know what I'm saying? What, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna test this out. So, my light meter right now reads the sun as F11. If I, so theoretically, if I shoot this at F11, he's gonna be, it's gonna look like a normal photo, balanced, front and back. So, we're gonna take that photo and then I'll post it up as soon as we're done with that one. We'll see how that goes. But we'll see, we'll see. So, we're going at what, F11? Yeah, yeah. Let's shoot that at F11. Uh, can you, like, just that right now? F8? So, you can stand not too close to it, but like right here? Like here? Like right or there, yeah. All right. Okay, so that photo right there, I'm gonna pop up right here. As you guys see, his the front of his body and the background is at the same light. That is because this, the power of this strobe is matching the power of this, the, the light source. Now, what you're here for is how to overpower that. So, as you guys learned, if that's at F11 and this is at F11, it'll be the same. Now, if you're used to a camera, the higher your, well, if it's F4, it's gonna be brighter than F5.6. So this should be F8, 5.6, 4, whatever, in order to overpower that. So we're gonna try that one out now. One more time. Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll say three, two, one, so you don't like, get overwhelmed by the time. Okay. Right, so three, two, cool. So, when you do the output of that, what ends up happening is, I'm putting it right here again. What ends up happening is your subject matter and your and or model becomes blown out. Like their skin tone doesn't become like true. It, it starts blowing out, so it'll be really bright compared to the actual sunlight. Now if you want the sunlight to actually get darker, you're gonna have to make this much more stronger. So right now this strobe is running at seven, and we're gonna just put it all the way to 10 and see what that does for us. I'm also gonna move it closer to him so it has more of an effect. And also use sandbags, please don't kill your model. What are the sand, it keeps it from flying forward? Yeah, what's look. It ends up doing this because it's heavy Why? that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I looked away, I get knocked out. Yep, pretty much. Okay, so like, can I have you sand like uh, right around here? Yeah. Wow, 
His, you can't even make out the details of his face anymore. It just completely bleeds out with that. Now, how this works is it's because this is overpowering and the f-stop of this is not matching the f-stop of that at all. So it's not overpowering, it's just overpowering the subject. Now in order to change that, you're going to need to match with the light meter. And that's why I said it was important. So like I said, the sun reads F11 and I don't know if you can really see that, but it reads 4. This reads 4 and theoretically it should work. Let's see if we run into any problems. Let's have you stand in the same spot as last time. So like here? So. Yep. Okay. So as you can see, I'm going to post the result right here. What ended up happening there is you actually get more detail from the uh, from the, the shot we took before this one. It's because you actually like basically this whole thing overpowering sunlight. It has basically all to do with only metering. So if you meter correctly, you will basically never fail as long as F whatever is brighter than F, whatever of your sun is, you're always gonna get that result, and it's always gonna look better. So I want you to know that. Keep that in mind at all times. Now, a tip if you wanted to try this at home or wherever you guys are, as you, as you can see, we're in a parking lot. It's, it's shaded. When you try to actually go out into the sun, and if I had him modeling out there, which I wouldn't do, because it's like 100 and whatever degrees here, forget that, <laughs> it's too hot. It would be a more sticky situation because you have to now consider the light hitting the, your actual strobe that's putting power out to your model. And that's a whole different story. If you guys want me to cover that, I'll do that in a different video. Yeah, it's 101 now. It's 101. It's 101. Let me see if I can focus that. It says 99. It says 99. Where it says today, 101. 101. This is ridiculous. Okay, so. We're back in the shade. We're not back. We're, we're somewhere else, actually. We're yeah. We're we're. <laughs> we, okay, hold on, hold on, no. hold up. We were in the shade. No, we were in the heat. And then, oh, okay, wait, wait, hold on. We were in the parking lot. Yeah. And then, if you see right here, we shot a little more in this area right here, and then it felt like three thousand degrees. Mm -hmm. So we came back into the shade under we're the here trees. Now. And yeah, so basically I, I want to just do a quick recap before I send you guys off because it's kind of a lot to take in. So first, get a light meter. If you can't, take a properly exposed photo on your camera and, and take note of that f-stop. If you don't know what a light meter is, that's that light meter right there. You feel me? Um, if you guys are interested in actually purchasing a light meter because they do come in handy, they're anywhere from 100 to $1,000. Um, don't don't buy the $1,000 one, you don't need that. But don't like, buy the 100 one either? Yeah. Or should you? Well, if you're just doing it for this instances, $100 is fine. But okay. the best one, to, in my opinion, is a $200 one. Okay. Because it just does everything, the $1,000 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except the $1,000 one has an armored body on it, but whatever. <laughs> just, armored body? Just take care of it, you feel me? Yeah. And yeah, so... Make sure the f-stop is brighter than the sun, like your, your light source, and then it should hit your subject in the manner that mimics that same exact thing, and then your sun should be blown out, it should get overpowered by the strobe, and you could experiment from there. You know, like, just because I told you to overpower sunlight doesn't mean you can only overpower sunlight, you can underpower it, whatever. It's all creative decisions at that point, and yeah. Right now, um, we gotta go back in, bro. This is hot as hell. Right? Yeah, we gotta get we out gotta, of here. We gotta get out of here. Okay, so, fuck, he woke up. I was trying to, I was trying to expose him, but I, I guess, I guess. You have the psychic eye? Yeah, I was trying to expose your boy, but. <laughs> Good morning, Riley. Good morning, bro. Yeah, what time, what time is it? It's 2 p.m., man. You can't be taking a nap. You can't be slipping like that. 
I mean, so what's up? You trying to play this Fortnite? You trying to catch this dub? Okay. PlayStation. <laughs> let's let's focus it on Fortnite. <laughs> Who's going? I suck the, at Fortnite. The player. We're gonna try it. Choice. We gonna we gonna try this out. We gonna try to go in. I call dubs. Okay, so my boy landed in Loot Lake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Casual. We gonna see what's what's up with this. Let's see. What should we do? Oh, now he's in Tilted Towers. What do I do though? The most do I dense. Try to, how do I get a gun? Uh, the guns first. are basically scattered around the floor or in chests. So you're gonna have to try to find one before so somebody like, mercs you heavy. They're hiding somewhere? Like so those are those are like ammo. Okay. But I don't have a gun, so that doesn't really matter. Yeah, so like and you could break down like so for example, like just try going into like one of the bigger buildings. Okay, okay, like over here? Yeah. Or like even in that one, there's probably like guns. I do not feel comfortable. You see all those little arrows guns. on the, the mini map? Uh the blue the blue arrows? Yeah. The, those should be your teammates. So. Okay. I need a gun, yo. There oh, it is. This better not be a shotgun, though. Shotguns are the best guns in this game, by really? the way. Oh, there we go. Assault rifle. That's Ooh. Fine. Boy, got Crap. assault. Press triangle. And then uh, press R1. And then you're on your... Yeah, there you go. Is this the assault rifle? Yeah. Okay. Um, but just try not to shoot your teammates. Okay, I won't. You should be good, though. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> I can't stop saying that. Boy is in the game. Are we in here? We in here. Ooh, a submachine gun. Yeah. Okay, Rowan. My no, veggie cop. So veggie cop. <laughs> veggie, veggie cop. cop. Oh, crap. Yo, swipe. <laughs> veggie cop. Come on, no. yo. Oh, you almost <laughs> had it down. Ah. Son, you almost had that joint. Oh crap! You're right. Oh, oh, oh. oh! Build, my dude. We gotta build. What do I do? What do I do? Build some cover, my homie. Press O. You start building. Oh. How do I select it? Uh, you just shoot it. Like act as if you're okay. shooting and stuff. There we go. There it is. There's that cover. Okay, bar. Roman. Okay with the blueprint. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I suck at this game. I need to get up though. What do I do? You, uh, you have to rotate your build, like your your joint. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to get out of here. I'm scared. Hmm? Can you play? Yeah. As soon as I die, I'm gonna let you go in. Okay. I need to get out of here, man. It's not safe. Yo, how do, how do I get up? I'm not playing. Bro, just jump or something, bro. Start. Just break it. Oh, they murked your homie. Where? He, he just lost oh. all his joints. I just loot him. Just get the double Bro. pistols, you feel me? What's this? It's a camera. I'm okay, I'm getting out of here. It's a camera, you cool. see it? You see the camera? That's sad. What we'll happened, Roman? I got murked. You got murked. I lost. It's this over. Is, it's over. I'm but dead. we got a, we got a new prodigy <laughs> right here. Lil, Lil He's boy. the chosen one. He's the chosen one. He you gotta say hi to the camera, man. Say hi. I wanna say hi to you. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Alright, so. He shlump. He shlump. Fortnite. And then you. And then me. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was. I'm sorry if it was too much information for you. Hey, but you're trying to learn, so I mean. That means they aren't smart you know, enough. This for those who have better series, you know, re rewind it if you, uh, you know, miss something and you know. Big facts. Go to work, you know. Yeah, go man. Work. I mean, you probably clicked on this video because of the title, so you know, rewind it if you need to, and like. Take notes. Comment, ask yeah. some questions, right? Exactly. So like, you can just if you have any questions, you can comment me. Also, like if you follow my Instagram, you can also DM me for questions that is not covered in the video please um but yeah it was fun yeah it, it was fun it i was didn't fun. know you turned the camera on me yeah it was, yeah, fun. It was <laughs> fun boo it sucked it was fun <laughs> it was fun so yeah guys thank you guys hot. for tuning in it was hot yeah can't forget that it was hot wait stay hydrated hot. 
Don't pass out. Hydration is key. You know what I'm saying. Stay hydrated, guys. Please don't die from the heat. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today. This was episode three of Weekly Visuals, and I'll see you guys next week. See you. Oh, brother cadet on Instagram. All right, so we'll be back into my car. Yeah, let's, let's get back into his Ferrari.